Greetings. Uh, let us learn about brush cytology, its role in GI endoscopy. These are my acknowledgments. And uh, today's learning objectives include, first, we will learn about the purpose of a cytology brush. And uh, number two, how to handle a cytology brush. Here, uh, during endoscopy, we notice white flecks in the esophagus, and whenever you see these white flecks, you should suspect candida esophagitis, and the next step is to take a cytology brush and acquire that specimen. So now, let us look at a cytology brush. As you can see, the head of the cytology brush has nice bristles and uh, these are sharp bristles that can actually acquire the abnormal cells when you use the brush to scrape. And then there is a handle which is similar to the handle that we have seen in a biopsy forceps. When you open up a cytology brush uh, from its uh, envelope. The brush is typically enclosed in a plastic sheet and we will learn about how to operate a cytology brush. First, you insert your thumb into the ring of the handle and your forefinger and middle finger on the slider and keep your grip closed. That keeps the brush inside the plastic sheet in a closed position. When you open your right hand grip, when you open the grip, the brush comes out and it is in an open position. And when you close your grip, the brush goes back. As you can see here, it is very simple. As long as you hold the handle in a proper way, as shown here, opening and closing your hand, uh, the right hand on the handle, operates the brush, brings it out or takes it back into that sheet. So you hand over the brush to the endoscopist in a closed position. And before you hand over, it's important to check whether your brush comes out or not. So you check that, you keep your brush in a closed position and you hand over to the endoscopist. And the endoscopist inserts it through the biopsy channel. And once it comes out, he will open it and then brush the specimen. So let us learn about uh, what happens. Here is a cytology brush that has come out of the endoscope in a closed position. And you open your right hand, that is the handle. The brush comes out. This is open position. And the endoscopist scrapes the lining. And once he's happy that he acquired enough uh, specimen, you close your right hand and it goes back into the sheet and it is in a closed position. So let us take a minute to see the same action uh, simultaneously, what happens in the operating field and what happens outside, side by side. So here uh, the right hand grip is in a closed position and the brush is enclosed in the plastic sheet. You open the right hand, the brush comes out. It is in an open position. You scrape the lining and then you close the grip. The brush goes back in, that is closed position. And once that happens, uh, if the endoscopist is happy, he will pull the catheter out. And as you're pulling the catheter out, 
uh, and uh, during that removal phase, take the same precautions like you handle any other device coming out of the endoscope. Use a piece of gauze, hold it near the biopsy port so that there is no spill, spillage of contents and take, make some nice loops as you remove the brush catheter. And once it is out, you can uh, do one of two things. One is you can make a smear on a slide uh, and then that smeared slide is put in a fixative and sent to the lab or, or in addition to smearing you could cut the end of the brush and uh, drop it in a fixative that the uh, lab uses and then uh, that will fix the specimen and then close it and then send it to the lab. The fixative may be varying from lab to lab and you need to call the lab to figure out what fixative is used for a particular purpose. So in summary, we have learned about the role of cytology brush. Uh, it's used for diagnosing candida esophagitis. I must add here uh, endoscopists also use brushing to diagnose cancer, especially in areas where it is hard to biopsy, like bile ducts and pancreatic ducts. And we have learned about how to operate a brush. It's all very simple. As long as you handle, uh, you know how to uh, put your thumb into the ring of the handle and your forefinger and middle finger on the slider and it's as simple as opening your hand or closing your hand to push the brush out or pull it back. I hope this is useful. Thank you.